Triblets, welcome to my channel where you can learn anything about hypnosis, hypnotherapy, hypnotherapy as a business for hypnotherapists, anything about crystals, higher wisdom stuff like soul stuff, spirituality stuff, divination, anything that has to do with your spirit team, spirit guides. Yeah, that too. And anything else off the top of my head that I know or just learned that I feel like might be valuable to you all. Yeah. My name is Erin and I am a certified hypnotherapist, certified transpersonal hypnotherapist, licensed RTT practitioner, and member of National Association of Transpersonal Hypnotherapists and International Association of Counselors and Therapists. And I also have a degree in business. So that's why I talk about that too. So, so today I want to give you some tips on how to get in that relaxed state to go into meditation or hypnosis. If you are getting ready to have a hypnosis, hypnotherapy session online, or if you are wanting to watch one of my videos where you can experience it and like really get into it, my videos that where you can experience hypnosis for yourself, one of those videos, here is some tips on the kind of environment you need to be in um, and mindset, etc, etc. So if you're getting ready to do hypnosis online, the first thing you need to do is to find you a quiet place where you will not be distracted, where you're not going to have your pet come in and mess with you where you're not going to have someone knocking on your door or any loud noises. Um, even if you have to sit in your freaking car parked away from, you know, people, do that. But make sure you can get into a nice quiet place where you're not going to be messed with, okay? Take that time for yourself. So, I mean, if you do anything for yourself, give that time to you for your own self. So the first thing is to make sure you can get into a nice quiet place by yourself with no distractions. So that's the first thing. And it can be dimly lit place, spot. It doesn't have to be dark or dimly lit. It can be. Some people like being in the light. It doesn't matter. It's whatever your preference is. However you feel most comfortable because that's what we're trying to get is you to be comfortable. Second tip is don't wear any tight fitting clothing so it's going to be bothering you whenever you're in the middle of the session. So if you've got like some really tight pants on and it's just going to and you've been like sucking your stomach in all day. Take those off. Put on some wind pants, some loose fitted clothing so they're not bothering you and you're not worrying about that. That's not on your mind during the session. So you can fully focus on your hypnotherapist voice. So that's the second step. Third tip is headphones, headphones, headphones. I highly recommend wearing headphones because it just makes the sound better. If you're wearing headphones, it makes you feel more immersed in what's going on in your hypnotherapist voice. So if you are interested in a pair of good quality headphones, these are some Bose SoundLink headphones. They are amazing. The ear, ear cuffs, the ear part is very soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Love it. Love these headphones for listening. I've actually worn these headphones so much that this is my second pair of ear um, cuff. Is this ear cuff? Of ear thingy 
uh, yeah, this is my second pair of the these little padded ear pieces. It's my second pair. I had to get a replacement and put them on because I wore these down. I wore it down. They were like falling apart. So yeah. So these Bose sound links are great headphones. They sound really good. Yeah. So that is the third step is getting a good pair of headphones to listen with. Okay. And the fourth step is make sure you're in a spot wherever you're your place that you don't have any distractions, make sure what you're sitting on is comfortable. If it's like a hard metal chair, it's not gonna be very comfortable for sitting in for an hour or two, you know? So make sure you're in a nice, comfortable chair or laying on a bed, whatever is most comfortable for you. But sometimes laying on a bed, you know, people have a tendency falling asleep. So that's why I prefer my clients to be sitting up in a chair so they won't fall asleep on me because I'm not there with them. I'm through a screen so I don't have the ability to touch them and nudge them, bring them up to the level that they need to be in. I don't know if these are steps or tips, but yeah, I think these are just tips because they're not only steps. Yeah, but I'm not doing the video over and redoing it. So I said steps at the beginning. It's actually tips. So yeah, some tips before you start your session, make sure that your charger is plugged into your laptop or phone or whatever you're using to do the session because I have had a client's laptop die in the middle of a past life before. So I will never forget that one. I always make sure that they have their charger plugged in so their device does not die. So make sure your device is plugged in and nice and charged. And then another tip is to make sure you go to the restroom before because you don't want to be needing to go pee or number two, who knows, you know, during the session. And it'd be probably be a good thing to have you a drink sitting down beside you in case your mouth gets dry so you can like open that because lord knows i've had you know my mouth has been so dry before and i needed a drink and that's all i could think about was getting a drink and it just ruined the session so having you something to drink next to you that'd be a good thing i think that's pretty much it if you have any questions about your session, um, don't be afraid to talk to your hypnotherapist. That's what they're there for. So yeah, have your voice speak up if you have any questions, any cares, concerns before your session. And if they ask you if you have any questions, speak up and say something. Don't let something just sit in the back of your mind because that little something is going to be there through the whole session and it's going to probably mess up your session. I mean, it has chances of sitting in your mind going over and over and, you know, so that's just another tip. So that's all I have for today, guys. Until next time, love and light to you all.